is it uses uh, Windows's default uh, defragmentation uh, engine to defragment specific files in junk because it apparently has more power than the default GUI that comes with the program allows for. So this GUI taps into that. Uh, to, first things first. In order to use this program, you need this program right here, contig.exe, and it must be in the same folder as powerdefragmentergui.exe. They must be in the same folder. I will give you a link to both of these files so that you can download them. It will be fantastic, and it's very, very easy. Uh, so basically what defragmenting is, if you have never used the default disk defragmenter before, is when Windows goes to store files or install things, um, downloads things, anything like that, the uh, operating system has to figure out, okay, where do I put this stuff? And in order to be more efficient, it will sometimes break files up into little pieces that it can store in specific sections of the disk rather than putting it all in one big clump, which depending upon what the files are used for, may be more efficient or it may be less efficient. In the case of gaming, it is less efficient. So if you've been playing games and you've noticed that you have what appears to be graphics lag, but it, you, it used to be faster and you know your computer can do better than this, or maybe you know your computer's a piece of crap anyway, but you think it can do better and you want to unlock that, um, this can help. What this does is, uh, in for example, with Guild Wars 2, uh, Guild Wars 2 saves all of the game files in a gigantic 17.5, at the moment, gigabyte uh, database file. It's a, a gw2.dat, I believe is the file name. Uh, initially, I hadn't defragmented for a while when this was shown to me, and my... That file was fragmented into 55 pieces. Now, as you can imagine, having something having to retrieve 55 different fragments of a... Or, well, search 55 different fragments, not necessarily read them and put them all back together, depending upon what it's doing. Um, it, it has to figure out where a certain file is inside of that DAT file in order to load it. Say, for instance, sounds, textures, models, etc. So having that all in one place so that I can just retrieve it like this, a whole lot easier. Saves you a whole lot of time. Uh, or saves the oper operating system a whole lot of time. Now, you will be amazed when you try this just how much faster it speeds you up. Uh, for me, it is the difference between being able to play on max graphics or not being able to play on max graphics. Having to play on the default. Uh, well, the, the low-end stuff, which I often do that anyway, just because I have so many other things going on in the background. Uh, so here is the program. I will show you how it works. Uh, occasionally, Windows will think you're trying to install something, and it'll go, Hey, this didn't install correctly. Hey, you might well check it. Yeah. But in reality, it's not installing anything. There is no installation. It is just one of those programs that doesn't have to be installed. So, start it, hit next, defragment files, uh, you can do folders as well. If you, I mean, if you're playing a different game, you might want to defragment an entire folder, because most games don't store all of their files in uh, one gigantic thing. That's, that's a Guild Wars thing. So, next, uh, so you can defragment up to four specific files. I am going to go here. Hi, this is my installation directory where the game is actually installed. As you can see, here is gw2.exe right here. Uh, and here is the 17.647 gigabyte uh, database file. So we have selected that. We are going to open. It selects it here. And we have a pretty button right here. It says defragment. Now watch what happens. The file is in four fragments. I will move this slightly. Basically, this is just a whole lot of waiting because do you know how long it takes to move a 17.647 uh, 17 excuse me, gigabyte uh, file 
It, it's a very big file. It takes a lot of copying. It probably takes a few minutes. And depending upon just how many fragments is in, it might take a little bit longer. But once it's all into one big piece, which is what this program does, it consolidates it. Uh, you will be able to load files that much faster, and it will significantly speed up your gameplay from the graphics side. Um, depending upon what kind of connection you have, there are other methods of speeding up your gameplay, which include uh, altering your MTU rate, uh, which I did not prepare for that just yet, but most likely uh, it won't have that much of an impact on your gameplay. Uh, the other thing you can do is disable something called the Nagel algorithm, spelled N-A-G-L-E. Uh, both the MTU rate and the Nagel algorithm are very, very good for first-person shooters. Mm, kind of so-so in MMORPGs. Really depends uh, on just what kind of gameplay it has and what sort of server-side checks are in place and things of that nature. Uh not a really big impact on Guild Wars 2, to be perfectly honest with you, but I, there's other MMORPGs that I played where it's just like, whoa, this is night and day. Uh, Nagel algorithm, uh, changing that, I have not seen a utility just yet that can do that automatically, although no, I don't know why no one has done that. Um, I guess because of just the variety of different ways that it can be stored. I guess it needs to be manually checked, but anyway... Uh, you bust open the registry, and there's a specific section that you have to go into to edit some stuff, and it's fairly simple. You just got to make sure you're editing the right thing, and it, as they always warn you, if you're going to edit it, make a, a copy of your registry, which you can do just by, I think, by going to, once you have the registry open, which you, you open with uh, regedit.exe, which you can get to using the start menu here. Uh, start menu. Okay, regedit.exe, then you bring that up. Top left, file. Um, this is backwards, so it would be over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, file, save as, make you make a copy. or is it, It's either save as or it's export a copy. I, I don't know. But yeah, you can once you make the copy, you can restore it if you did something horribly wrong and totally screwed up your internet connection. So that's very important if you're going to bother doing that. Uh, this is still moving, as you can see. It's not frozen. It really isn't. This is just a command prompt. Command prompts are silly. They don't tell you what the progress is. Uh, so, we're still waiting. We're dancing. We could dance. So, how's the weather? I'll probably skip through this part. I don't know. I might not. I might just be lazy. I really like this pen. You see, this is the part in the video where you would normally go and do something else. Um, like read something or watch a YouTube video or... Hey, it's moving the next part. Look at that. Okay, this is going to take a lot longer than I realized. So I got, I'll go ahead. I will, I'm going to go ahead and, and skip through this. This part, yes. Skipping. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it has now finished, finally, doing the, the moving of the... F Woo! It, <laughs> the moving of the files. Yes, it has done that. That has been done. Things have happened. Um, it has given us a prompt. It says file... <laughs> file defragmentation completed. So, uh, it will then, I think, bring the thing back up and... Uh, you can just close it. You're done. Uh, basically, this needs to be done pretty much every time the game updates, sometimes even more frequently than that. But basically, a, a good rule of thumb is do it every time the game updates. Uh, 
you could just do it before you start the game up every time just to be on the safe side if you want uh but that's that's pretty good maintenance for it so yeah that 